Good morning, boys and girls. Does it feel like time is going slowly right now? I know it is for me. I just planted some flower seeds this week, and now I have to wait until they grow. That's kind of hard. Have the adults around you been talking about time much lately? I thought that because this might be a subject that's on your minds, you would enjoy some books about time. Maybe time or how to read a clock or a watch is something you'll be ready to learn about someday soon. So our first book that we're going to talk about today is called Late for School. This book is available in Library On The Go to be checked out and downloaded or read on your computer or Kindle. By the way, stay tuned until the end of my video if you would like a demonstration on checking out print or audiobooks from Library On The Go. So have you ever thought about what it means to be on time? Grown-ups seem to talk about it a lot, but basically being on time just means arriving at a planned event before it starts. And learning this skill is an important part of growing up. One place kids have to think about being on time, even though it isn't going on right now, is school. My first book, called Late to School, helps us imagine what would happen if the teacher woke up late one day. That's the story of what happens to Mr. Bungles. He forgot to set his alarm clock, and thankfully, the bird in this picture that was outside of his window wakes him up. Mr. Bungles says that it's his rule that people should never, ever be late for school. But then his car won't start, and he misses the train, so he starts to wonder how he will ever get there. I really enjoyed the bright pictures like these in the book, and there's a lot to look at and spot on each page. This is definitely the kind of book to me that you could read through multiple times and see something new each time you read it. After reading this book, you could talk with your adult about how you feel about being late or being on time. Our next book is called The Clock Struck One, and it's a longer version of the old nursery rhyme, Hickory Dickory Dock. This book can be found on the Tumble Books math platform. Maybe you've heard of that nursery rhyme. It goes, Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down, Hickory Dickory Dock. But, in the book, instead of just stopping at one o'clock like the nursery rhyme, the book follows the mouse, and then a cat, and then a dog, and some chickens, and, oh, well, you're just going to have to read it for yourself. This book is perfect to play I Spy With, challenging yourself to find the clock on each page and see if you can read the time on it. The author um, makes up a few words to keep the rhyme going, and the uh, book has moving pictures that are bright and funny to look at as you read. What would you include, or who would you include, from your home and your family's version of Hickory Dickory Dock? Finally, the last book that I've picked um, has to do with being frustrated by all the waiting that maybe you're having to do right now. If you feel frustrated because you're having to wait a lot, you're definitely not alone. In the book, Not Until Tomorrow, Phoebe, we meet a girl frustrated by all of her adults telling her to wait. It's a day full of tomorrows. Mama says they can make pancakes tomorrow. Her teacher announces musicians are going to visit the class tomorrow. And Phoebe will get ice cream after her haircut tomorrow. Phoebe feels annoyed and impatient. She's so upset, she even pretends like she's a bear. 
She wants to know why can't these good things happen today? But in a sweet visit with her granny, Phoebe learns a secret ingredient to make a tomorrow turn into a today. Hmm, what do you think that ingredient might be? If you're having a hard time waiting right now, you might read this book and make friends with Phoebe and find out what the secret ingredient is. Now, I wanted to take just a minute and go through how you could check out a book on Library on the Go. So step one is just to go to the Chatham Area Public Library website at chathamlib.org. You'll see here on the top that there's a button that you can click that's for the digital library. So you'll click there or you can click here on the banner where it says access digital library. And once the digital library comes up, what we're going to look at today is called library on the go. And it's this first link here under downloadable books. So you'll click that link. Now, your adult may or may not know, or grown-ups, if you're watching this, you may not realize, you can check out books um, that are audiobooks as well as print books, like for um, your Kindle, sorry. Um, so the first thing you'll see at the top of the page is that if you're interested in reading or listening to Harry Potter, we have unlimited copies available for you and your family. But if you're not interested in Harry Potter, you're just looking for books for kids, you can come up here to the top and click Kids. And the way I like to do it, after this opens up, is you'll see you can just browse, okay, and see what's on the screen, read along picture books or Harry Potter or early chapter books. But what I usually do is I come to Collections. And I will click on no wait, no problem, because that's going to show me what's in right now. And there's ebooks and there's audiobooks. And so everything it's going to show now is all available right this moment to be checked out. Well, let's say I'm checking out for somebody who's four years old and I'm not interested in getting Harry Potter. How do I find a book for them? Well, I'll come over here under subject and click more. And now you see all the options. There's things like beginning reader. There is picture book nonfiction, picture book fiction. So these are going to be categories like beginning reader or picture book fiction that are going to get books for our younger readers. Okay. Also, you could go back to collections. Maybe you want an audiobook. So we'll collect, we'll click on audiobooks. And we'll click on no wait, no problems, just like before. And then again, under subject, we'll click more. Although if you wanted Harry Potter, there it is. And now here's all sorts of choices. Fantasy, humor, mystery, beginning reader. Okay. So we still have uh, picture books. Um, and beginning reader books. So if you want something easier that you can listen to. So there's all your choices and you can just play around with that. And then once you pick the book you want, you click on it. You can listen to a sample of it here. You can click that button or you can click borrow. And once you click borrow, you'll need to have your library card. If you don't have a library card that you know the pin for, um, you're always welcome to apply back out on the library, uh, the Chatham Library page for uh, an e-card. So you can go ahead almost immediately and start checking out electronic books. And that's available down here on our front page, sorry, down here on our front page on our website. So I hope that tour was helpful for you. And I hope that you're enjoying all of the great books that are available on Library On The Go and Tumble Books. And I'm excited to tell you that new ones are being added all the time. 
I will be back again next Friday at 1015. And next week's topic, we're going to do a spotlight on an author named Robert Munch. And so a lot of grownups may know him from his famous book called I'll Love You Forever. That was a book my mom loved and then I loved when my kids were little. But Robert Munch has a lot more books than that one. And so I have already picked out three that I think you're going to enjoy because they're funny and they made me laugh and the reader is really wonderful. So I hope you'll join me next week to see the three books I've picked out for you then. So until then, I hope you will keep on learning to tell time and maybe even be patient and definitely keep on reading. Bye-bye.